Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today I have with me the Super EQ S2 ANC Bluetooth headphones. Super EQ is in a way related to One Audio, one of my favorite budget wired earphones. So how good are the S2s? Watch on to find out. With work from home becoming the norm, people are on the lookout for decent headphones and not spend a fortune on them. We have seen mostly wired headphones in the 2000 to 3000 rupees range. But the Super EQ S2 are a pair of Bluetooth headphones, which is available at the same price range. I am liking the colors. The pista green with the orange combo looks really nice. These are also available in black and green, and plain black color options. These are really loud colors and are targeted more for a younger crowd. The tagline "Be young, be free" does emphasize this. The back of the box lists the specifications and the contents. Let's get into the box and try the headphones out. We have a carry case which has the headphones within, same as the One Audio. 24 months warranty and lifetime service. Also in the box are some paperwork and a manual. Aeroplane adapter. You can use these on an aeroplane. Not sure how many budget headphones provide this. 3.5 to 3.5 mm jack. Great if your battery dies out and your device has a 3.5 mm jack. You can still listen to your music using this USB C charging cable. I am so glad it's USB C. And here are the headphones. Whoa! When you open it up, it has quite an audible click. The ear cups look to be attached to the headbands using circular rods and not the standard flat metal frame. The ear cups are quite small. I feel they won't cover my ears. This could affect the noise isolation as there are openings all round. The foam does feel soft. We have the Super EQ branding on the headbands, the L and R marked under the logo for their respective sides. The ear cups can fold in to lay almost flat and can be folded down to 90 degrees to take less space. Great for traveling. Here's the USB-C charging port. The other cup has the 3.5 mm jack and a microphone hole. The headband has quite adequate padding made of PU leather within the arch. The right ear cup houses the controls for volume, power on off and ANC button. You can also answer calls using the volume buttons. The ANC or active noise cancellation function works even if you're not listening to music. These controls are clicky, so you need to deliberately press down to activate them. This is great as I don't like the capacitive controls as they're easy to trigger accidentally. When the headphones are powered on, we have this green light indicating that it's active. It should turn to blinking blue light to indicate it's in pairing mode. If it doesn't initiate pairing, hold down the power button until the blue light starts blinking. To reset all paired devices, hold down both the volume up and down buttons for 10 seconds. Now to pair it with my phone. Tap on Super EQ S2 displayed in the list, hit pair, and now it's ready to use. The S2 uses Bluetooth 5.0, which is more stable as compared to Bluetooth 4.2. With their lower latency and higher bandwidth, the quality would be much better. Also, we can pair multiple devices. Now the audio quality. These drivers are 40 mm, which are quite good. Bass is quite rich and it performed well across all frequencies. The highs are clean, with the mids also sounding quite clear, not muffled in any way. Surprising quality for the price. The video and audio also stay in sync when streaming and also while gaming, with no perceivable lag. Connecting to the 3.5 mm aux cable, the sound improves manifold as there's no compression required, and you can use the aux cable even if your battery is dead. But the headphones will draw power from your phone instead. As I did say earlier, the ear cups don't sit over my ears, and it starts to get a bit uncomfortable. The ANC is fine. The noise cancellation is reasonable. So this is the quality of the audio you're going to get off these headphones. The microphones are supposed to do a good job of uh, removing the background noise, and it should be making your calls uh, sound much sound much more better. So let's see how good they really are. The ANC is great when you're traveling and don't want to be disturbed by the plane's engine noise or the click clacks on the train. These will work quite well. Repetitive sounds are easily handled, but sudden loud noises like a car horn. will still get through now for the battery life super eq claims 25 hours at medium volume and 20 hours at full volume which would drop to 18 hours with anc enabled very respectable numbers 
and it would take 2 hours to charge up the battery to full which is still quick and of course there's no IP rating so keep away from water. Also get 10% off on your purchase on the Super EQ website using the coupon code TALKINGSTUFF. Okay, the Super EQ S2 are great sounding headphones for the price. The included ANC function does a great job and the noise cancelling microphone helps for cleaner calls. Being lightweight and foldable helps throw it into a bag while travelling. The build is also decent but the clicks while opening and closing the headphones does scare me a bit. But it's still working all this time. The ear cups are soft but their size makes them a bit uncomfortable which should not be a problem for small ears and if you like on your headphones these would work. And the battery life is great and the fast charging which is 2.5 hours charging time is nice to have. Overall a great pair of Bluetooth headphones. Sound quality cannot be compared to premium headphones but they do sound as good as or better than other headphones in its price range. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.